Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dub Nation, Laker fans, welcome back to another Roto Entertainment Warriors recap video. As you see, once again, another blowout. Lakers win at 128.97. Uh, before we get into this game, if you guys haven't already, make sure you all hit that like, hit that sub and notification bell. I am live for every Warriors game. We'll be live Warriors Rockets on Wednesday. We're we'll live for a lot of Laker games as well, so come on by and hang out. Uh, just another shitty performance by Golden State. I mean, you just just come in after a big win last night, uh, yesterday afternoon against Utah. You just come in. Warriors had a good first quarter. They were down by three going into second. And then everything just took a turn from the worst there. Second unit came in, got down 15. Then the first unit came in and got down... Uh, sorry, got down 10. Then the first unit came in, got down 15. And it was over from there. Uh, nobody really played well for Golden State besides maybe two players. Lakers, they had a really great night. Here's the stats for LA. 7-5 and five for Marquise Morris. He got hurt. Hopefully he's all right. No idea what happened to him. A triple-double for LeBron James tonight. 22-10-11. Eight and four for Damian Jones, former Warrior. Uh, six and seven for Dennis Schroeder. Fourteen and four for KCP. Off the bench, seventeen five and four for Kuzma. We're gonna talk about this here in a second. Twenty-seven and five for Montrezl Harrell. Eighteen ten and four for Talon Horton Tucker. Montrezl Harrell absolutely destroyed Golden State tonight. The Warriors tonight gave up twenty-seven to twenty-seven buckets within four feet. No inside interior defense whatsoever. Every time the Lakers got inside, they scored. Montrezl Hero tonight was 11-14. He was amazing. Lakers as a team tonight shot 62%. 40% for downtown. Lakers were not missed tonight. They were great. James made some incredible shots in the second half of the se season. Second half of the uh, game. And the Lakers just dominated from the get-go. Where they won every single quarter, including the fourth quarter in garbage time. And the Warriors just never had a chance in this game. Like I said, down three in the first quarter. After that, it was all over from there. Again, just the Warriors allowed every single bucket underneath the bucket tonight. Did not get one stop within four feet. That's crazy. That is, that's insane, man. Warriors interior defense needs to step up. The outside defense was pretty good. Lakers had some tough shots today. But their interior defense needs to be worked on somehow, one way or another. But credit to his, do credit goes. LeBron and the Lakers were great tonight. They were not missed. They were hitting their shots. They were on from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. And Montrezl Hill was just a beast. Dominated Golden State tonight. And the Lakers, with another blowout, went over Golden State. Now here's the Warriors' stat tonight. 2-6-7 for Draymond. 15-3 for Wiggins. He was good tonight. 27-3-2-3 for Steph. 12-2 for Oubre. Off the bench, 5 for Pascal. 10-10. Uh, and four for Nico Manning, 14 and two for Jordan Poole. Warriors tonight as a team shot, 43%, 35% for downtown. They also missed eight free throws. Warriors just never got in the group tonight shooting besides Wiggins and Steph. Um, Wiseman didn't have that great of a night, seven and eight for him, seven points, eight rebounds. Warriors just never got in the group tonight shooting from the get go. And that's why the performance was so bad. I mean, eight missed free throws is terrible, 35% for three. Feels like the Warriors either shoot great from three or bad. Just another bad shooting night tonight. And Steve Kerr, man. Kent Bazemore played 14 minutes tonight. 0 for 5, 0 for 3. Zero points, two turnovers, one foul. Why didn't Damian Lee come in for him? And Bazemore's going to struggle. Why not put in Lee? Like, it's ridiculous. Steve Kerr does not give a fuck about winning this year. He plays to lose, which is such an awful mentality to have. But Steve Kerr this year is playing to lose, not to win. If he was playing to win, he would be tweaking the lineup no, no tomorrow. When a player struggling, he puts his player in. Also, Steph Curry was amazing tonight. 9 of 17, 4 of 7. But he was again in the touches. I don't understand Steve Kerr sometimes. When Steph, Steph Curry's having these amazing games, he doesn't get the ball. But when Steph Curry's struggling, he has the ball every possession. I don't know what goes through Steve Kerr's mind sometimes. And he never wants to put the blame on himself. It's always, oh, we didn't play this game. We didn't do this. We didn't do that. How about Steve Kerr say, some, take some credibility with these losses, man? And how about you stop playing Camp Baseball and start playing Damian Lee? Or how about you start giving Steph the ball when he's heating up like this? Ridiculous, man. 
But anyways, it doesn't matter because the Warriors have no excuses tonight. Bad defense inside the perimeter and bad shooting all night. Lakers locked up the Warriors. They dominated from the first bucket to the last bucket. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just bad, great night for the Lakers. Like I said, credits do what credits do. Bad night for the Warriors overall, defense and offense. Great night for the Lakers on both sides of the ball. All right, guys, that is my recap and breakdown of this game. Again, if you guys haven't, make sure you hit that like. Hit that seven notification bell. Come on back for more Warriors and Lakers coverage on the channel. We'll be back live, Warriors and Rockets on Wednesday. So make sure you guys check that out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great night, day, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Remember to take care. Spike, you're here. You guys have a great night. This is Rocha, or a great day. God damn it. Wherever you're watching, this is Rocha, Rocha, Tim A. Sane. See you next time on the channel. Till then, bye-bye.